Ezekiel chapter 9, starting in verse 3. Now the glory of the God of Israel had gone up from the cherub, which it had been to the threshold of the temple. And he called to the man clothed with linen, who had the writer's inkhorn at his side. And the Lord said to him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and put a mark on the foreheads of the men who sigh and cry over all the abominations that are done within it. To the others he said in my hearing, Go after him through the city and kill. Do not let your eyes spare, nor have any pity. Utterly slay old men and young men, maidens and little children and women, but do not come near anyone on whom is the mark. And begin at my sanctuary. Stop. That sounds like the seal of God versus the mark of the beast to me. What's going on in the previous chapter? What was the greatest abomination that the prophet Ezekiel saw? Ezekiel 8 verse 16. So he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and there, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about twenty-five men, with their backs toward the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, and they were worshipping the... Barcode! No. The chip! No. The vax! No. Worshipping on the wrong day! No. Donald Trump! (sighs) No. They were worshipping the sun toward the east. 666 has nothing to do with the Emperor Nero or Barack Obama. It is the grand number of the sun. All it is is the same old occultic deception repackaged with high tech to make it look cool. The same kind of deception spoken of in the book of Revelation we have seen before in ancient Israel, and more recently we have seen it happen in Nazi Germany. And what do you see happening right now in America? We have rejected God and are embracing paganism and the occult. Painfully obvious once it's pointed out, isn't it? You can be 100% certain that the text in Revelation will happen exactly as it is written. The question is, are you going to follow the crowd, go with the flow, and bend the knee to bail, and sell your soul when it's the convenient, trendy, and smart thing to do? Or will you take the road less traveled on? It is not enough to reject the mark of the beast. Just because you aren't a Nazi or witch or pagan sun god worshiper doesn't mean that you're going to heaven. There are a lot of good old boys in hell. You must receive the seal of God by fully surrendering your life to follow Jesus Christ. I set before you death and life. Choose life.